What's up, Madden gamers? Welcome to this edition of Madden 16 uh, Tips and Tricks. What we're looking at today is our full game breakdown. This is our preview guidebook uh, for our guide. We're going to be bringing in Madden 16. Uh, we've got the bunch offense working uh, with our nickel 335 defensive guide on defense, and we're really going to hopefully show you guys how the scheme works in a full game breakdown. And uh, we should have our depth chart all set up from our, our depth chart video breakdown. And what we're going to do is we're going to start out try to hit them big over the top um, with an early hit. We're going to use this halfback slip screen, a safe play call, uh, but also something that can hopefully get us a, a nice start to the offense, a nice flow, uh, and, and really hope that we get something here with this uh, slip screen. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're just going to set it up as if we were running it. Uh, like normal, we're going to put Des Bryant on that curl route and then DeMarco Murray on that in route uh, and then slide protect our offensive line with Murray uh, to that side here. And we're going to bring Murray across and pass lead that down outside. We've got a lot of blockers out there. Troy Palomalu makes a touchdown saving tackle and uh, and that's a really nice play by him. It's the second game in a row where we have, uh, I think my depth chart is having some issues. Let me see here. There we go. And uh, second game in a row, we had a touchdown saving play off the bat. And last game we played with this, just practicing, warming up. We had the same thing happen. We were, we hit the screen and had blockers and, Got wrapped up for only a three-yard gain. Really should have been a, a touchdown. And and so here we see him coming out. We, we came out on the counter hoping to run the ball. We we see that we have a numbers advantage. We're going to bring Cole Beasley down here, try to run this halfback base right up to 10 and get that first down. Big run by DeMarco Murray there. Uh, got us that first down. And now we're going to get more into the, the bread and butter. We're bringing the PA post out, the, the bread and butter of the offense here. And... Uh, here we're getting a blitz pressure off the side, and DeMarco Murray just drops the catch. Uh, would have been an easy, easy first down, maybe even a touchdown. Uh, so some shaky plays here to open up the game, kind of settling in. But uh, so far the defense or the offense is is, is working properly. Uh, we just can't catch the football, and uh, that, you can't ever really help that. So second and ten come out here. Let's see if we can't make a little play here off tackle. We got a good look for that counter. Uh, we're going to bring Beasley across, try to get that hold, that block on the edge. Um, we got DeMarco Murray up to the edge. We got him on the edge, and we got that first down, another big run by DeMarco Murray. We're going to go no huddle here, try to get back into our basics um, and try to bring that PA post out. Uh, had some good looks for it. Uh, he seems, seems to be bringing some pressure uh, to open up. Pass leading down, and we got picked off. Gosh dang it, we missed it. We just completely whiffed on our read, and unfortunately, the lag of the online, uh, and that's just unfortunate. Not much we can, not much we can do on that one, uh, and those are the unfortunate interceptions that you throw sometimes uh, when, when they're not giving you the right read. Um, for some reason, our depth chart did not save, and so that's why we're making these adjustments here. Um, Trying to go quick. Um, and we're all we're all to freaking crap right now. We can't get our depth chart adjustments in. Um, and we're in a play. We don't even know what we're called here. We'll take that. We got a lucky user pick. Uh, we slide down on that levels play, and we got the ball right back here. Um, I think we were in the nickel 245, uh, one of our schemes that we do work with sometimes. Uh, but like I said, we we want to stay in that nickel 335 and show you how it works. So, uh, so a lot of chaos going on, some two interceptions, and uh, we want to come out and run the football here. We want to kind of keep things composed. Uh, we're going to try to get the edge here, and we actually have a little more of an opening up the middle and DeMarco Murray. Uh, we're going to kind of lean on him. Uh, with some runs here to open up because we've we've had a tough time here with some different things going on and haven't quite been able to get into a flow. But DeMarco Murray's been running well. And so we're going to stick with him for a little bit and just kind of see uh, what we've got going. He seems to be in a nickel shake defense or bringing some pressure or something. So we're going to we're just going to kind of work this running game. Uh, here we got the counter. DeMarco makes another great play and we got a positive yardage. 
We're probably going to run to Marco Murray one more time here and just get him inside, hopefully get us in a really good third down position. Uh, so we're looking to run right up the gut here. And we do. We come up field. We got uh, second. I think we got third and two or third and three. Uh, and we're going to come out here looking to hit uh, with our bread and butter, our PA post play. We got press coverage on the outside. We may look at two man here. Um, here he comes out of it. And we got Cole Beasley over the middle in that nice route for a first down Dallas Cowboys. Um, big time play there. Uh, here we're going to come out and we're going to look to throw the ball. We're going to come out in a Z spot, kind of adjust out of it. Uh, we do have our spell back in and, and uh, Randall. Uh, what we may look to do here is hit this slip screen. So we're going to look to hit this slip screen here. We're going to make our hot routes per usual. Uh, kind of look to the right. we got man coverage on the outside. we got that pass led down curl and Des Bryant's in for six for us. A, it's kind of a shaky start. We do get six out of our first uh, out of our second possession here. And uh, I'm going to go for two, kind of show you what we do on the red zone. Um, every single time we come out, red zone game plan, uh, we do love the halfback counter. Uh, personally, I really look to run the halfback base in the red zone. I do some play action stuff off that as well. But uh, the main play we look to is the halfback base for this. This is our bread and butter in the red zone. We try to really power it in uh, with this halfback base, come right up the gut. And uh, here you see we don't get in. Uh, I think that we actually did. We got a bad spot. Uh, so some, some tough stuff going on with some lag issues uh, of the online. But what are you going to do? So we got our six here uh, open up. And we got to get down and make some defense now. Uh, some good running off there. Uh, number 13 did a really good job there. Um, so nickel 335, uh, we're going to hop into it here. And we've got to get our settings here. We get all of our guys in position. And I think we are good now. Uh, we like to come out in this three overload press. Uh, what we normally start the game off with, though, is a cover three buzz drop, and we just sit in the base. We sit in the base setup the whole way through. Uh, here we got play action. We know what's coming here. Play action, uh, spider two, Y banana play, and we jump on that. Here again, we're going to go to the base setup. on that running back and he goes over the middle there Sean Lee is in a position to make a play unfortunately doesn't respond to the ball and they've got a first down uh, our opponent pauses the game here just want to take a moment to quickly remind you guys that uh, we are going to be releasing a Madden NFL 16 offensive and defensive guide and also an offensive and defensive bundle uh, that you can purchase and uh, the prices are going to be fairly reasonable, I think, and hopefully you'll be able to enjoy it. This is just a quick sample guide uh, that you can get for free and just kind of shows you the video work that we're going to do and kind of some of the setups and things like that. So second of five here. Like I said, we're going to stay in the base most of the game here. And we got a slip screen off that edge. Claiborne, no tackle. For some reason, the lag is killing us this game, and... Uh, not much we can really do about that. Mm -hmm. So we just got to stay patient. Here we're going to send the overload three press at him to blitz off that left edge. We're going to try to see stronger coverage on the right side. We got a little off tackle run by LaGarrett or uh, LaDavion Bell. Um, and stay in the base here just in case he tries to pass. And for some reason, Sean Lee's not reacting to the ball. Not much I can do about that. Um, I want to back Sean Lee up just a bit, kind of get him a little better basis. And we got a little lob ball action. Claiborne drops the interception. That's a rarity. Normally, Claiborne makes that pick. Um, unfortunate for us. Here we're going to go overload three press, send the pressure off that left side, try to send it. May look at a screen here. We got Scat here, quick throw to the outside on the left side, just a perfect call by him. Uh, we just come up, make a tackle here. Third and nine, uh, we're going to go crash two. And we're probably going to, he's not going to get the snap off. Um, third and nine, what we're going to come out with in this play situation is our cat blitz two roll. This is our short yardage play. Defense is a little more chaotic than offense. It's tough to break down everything for you, uh, but we are trying. Uh, we're going cat blitz two roll here. And we're going to man up on the tight end. And we're going to 
gonna try to bring Wilcox down in the box. Send some pressure at him, and there we are. There's your stop. We got him in fourth down and, sh and uh, long, uh, trying to go with a quick little out pattern. Uh, and so now we got him in fourth and eight. If he comes out to try to pass, which he is, you see, uh, we are going to be sending. We are going to call our cat blitz to roll again. We're not even going to come out in anything else. We know that's what we're calling. And we're going to man up on the tight end again. We're going to bring everybody down. Send that pressure over the top. And for some reason, again, Sean Lee's not reacting to the football. There's not much we can do about that. We had players in position. And uh, unfortunately, he just, for some reason, we weren't able to react on the goal line, guys. Just a quick note, I run Stink Pinch Zone. Uh, I really love Stink Pinch Zone. I've loved it for years. And all I do is I just put those uh, corners in a, uh, a hook zone or a curl, a flat zone. Have had a lot of issues this game with some lag. And uh, we got zero one trap coming over the top of us right down our throat. And unfortunately, he gets his two-point conversion. Um, so a good drive by him opening up. I think we did everything we wanted to do defensively. I mean, we we got him in a fourth down situation. We had a couple of opportunities for interceptions. And we either dropped the pick or didn't even respond to the ball. And not much you can do right there. Uh, a lot of speed in our defense, and that's what killed us. Uh, he had a lot of speed to his offense. Tough to get all the adjustments in. Um, but like I said, we are we are going to come out here and try to score again and uh, try to get that working. Uh, we're going to start off with another run. Uh, so far, the running game has been really beneficial to us and bringing DeMarco Murray left and right and working him a little bit, uh, try to get some big gains here. And we're going to try to hit off that right edge, bring Cole Beasley across. We got the seal. And for some reason, he just latched onto my guy. I don't know what happened there. Uh, I don't know. I mean, that's some of the problems with this game. Hopefully that will be fixed next season. We're going to go to PA Post, our bread and butter. We got our guy, Cole Beasley, and we're going to spin our way from a tackle to try to avoid a fumble. Um, so far, I mean, I'm not happy uh, with the offense uh, just yet. We're not clicking as well. We're trying to kind of really – pound DeMarco Murray just because of some of the laggy issues and there you see DeMarco Murray running into some some tacklers uh, just to kind of keep it keep us standard we're going to start working the PA post more we're going to have to uh, because of the situation and there's DeMarco Murray on that play like I said if they pull out uh, that's where we're looking to hit uh, so so far so far, everything we've said about the offense has been right. Our execution's been a little poor. Um, here we got the counter, and there goes DeMarco again. We got DeMarco probably needs a breather at this point. We're going to give him a break. Again, this guy's pausing the game. Like I said, just uh, bear with me on some of this. This is a full breakdown, a live commentary, a live gameplay. So hopefully you are enjoying that aspect of it. Uh, as you saw, some of the things defensively I want to show, I want to discuss. A lot of uh, little bitty things here and there, a lot of over-the-top passing, deep post routes, things like that we need to look out for. Uh, Sean Lee uh, had some trouble with his AI, and we just weren't able to catch it sometimes. But uh, overall, really happy with that Cat Blitz 2 roll. I think I did what I wanted to do. Uh, but next time I may go with that, uh, that cover three base play and uh, utilize that. So. Um, okay, in this situation, we need short yardage. We're going to go with our double trail play. Uh, remember, we discussed this play. This is a kind of something we mix in from time to time. I haven't used Z-Spot yet, and I'm, I think I am going to call it shortly. Uh, but I do want to come out in this play real quick because I think that's going to be effective here uh, with what he's been doing with his blitzing schemes. Seems to be bringing a blitz off the right. We're going to go ahead and check down to a run here, uh, and we're going to try and see if we can't catch him in a bad play. And we got a big opening, and Joseph Randall makes a big run play for us up the gut uh, for a quick hit of 16. Uh, going to go ahead and call the Z spot here. I think that it's something we want to look at. And we're just going to run in our standard way. We got all our players back out. Uh, seems to be more of in a basic look here now for us. And here he is in man coverage. Uh, we pass led down and outside to Jason Witten, hit that slant in over the middle, a uh, little in route that we put him on. 
And here we are. It looks like a, a potential blitz situation. So we're going to go ahead and, and run our slip screen uh, with our standard setup here. And we got a lot of blockers over there. Let's see if we can get in for six. And what a tackle. Uh, some great plays by this uh, Steeler defense. Some great plays by the rookies, the young players, uh, of making tackles. Um, see a lot of balance to our offense here. We are, and I, mean, and I really enjoy that about this. I think you can be really balanced. Here we're going to try to see if we can't maybe hit DeMarco, get him off the edge, pick up the first down, and move on. And there's DeMarco making big runs, big runs for us again. And and takes us to the two-minute warning. Now, in this situation, we got the two-minute warning. Uh, we are really going to be cautious. Uh, we want to take at least three points here. Uh, we do not want to uh, to throw an interception or turn the ball over here. Remember, send DeMarco Murray right down the pipe here. And we got stuffed. And we're at least trying to take his timeouts with us. We would ideally take the quarter. Um, this situation, we're probably going to look at the double trail play here. Um, actually, I think I'm going to look at the cross screen and look at that hitch right underneath or DeMarco Polo uh, coming across the middle. Uh, a nice safe pass play, something that we can, you know, quick, easy yardage. And they think we're going to run. We've been running all game. And we're going to go ahead and take this down uh, to go ahead and, and take the clock with us. And we're looking, like I said, to the hitch route first and then to DeMarco Murray. Got that hitch route down and took a touchdown right into the half. Great, uh, great play by, uh, great play by Cole Beasley there. Uh, a big catch in my opinion. Uh, something that we really needed. We needed six after that uh, atrocious drive last game defensively. And... Uh, so a good play by him. Like I said, you pass lead that hitch down and you bullet it. You throw it right into the dirt, and uh, you're really you're really trusting Cole Beasley and uh, Tony Romo to make that throw. And as you saw there, it panned out for us. We got six points out of it. So try to come out here and, and, and get uh, get our two point conversion. And uh, we're going to use a little deception here. We're going to try to run uh, that base in behind our counter and. And some good defense by him there. Probably should have stuck with the counter. Uh, maybe a little too much deception to open the game out. And uh, so our, our two-point conversions have, have struggled, uh, to say the least. The base is a, is a long developing run, and that's the only unfortunate thing about that. If we had, like, an inside zone or something, this would be a, a really difficult scheme to stop. And it already is, but the inside zone just make it even more effective. All right, so back in the nickel three through five. And what we're going to look to do here is go to that overload three three press. And we played that deep post, and Barry Church dropped the interception, unfortunately. Uh, so we're, we're starting to catch on to kind of some of the things he's wanting to do with his passing, uh, looking to more go over the top, more so than, more so than anything. We're going to send our base play at him. We're trying to bring Sean Lee back a little bit to kind of play that better. And there's your pressure, and we got a sack in there. We're going to go ahead and take a timeout here. Uh, it may set ourselves up for a field goal. And we're going to send the base. We're going to send the base pass rush again. And we're going to protect the sticks, play over top coverage. And we're going to try to stay with this, stay with this, stay with this, and. And we got him in a fourth and 19 situation. See the defense really clamp down for us um, on that drive, and we'll see what he decides to do with it. Uh, he may be going for it. He is going to go ahead and try to take this. Uh, we're going to come out in this cover three because uh, we know that was what we want to call. And we're going to call that same thing. We're looking to stay over the top, stay back, not fall for any play action. And we got this post route. And we got a lot of issues on that one with lag, but we did knock it down. We've got the ball, and we're going to go ahead and try to put seven points on the board. Unfortunately, our guy has gone ahead and quit. Um, so what?